women are more emotionally alert due to the male suicide rates. What impact do you like male and female teachers have on students? Yeah. I'd like to, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to yeah. say that we have a positive impact on that. They can't relate to a, be honest, a middle-aged white man teaching them their subject. Recruitment and retention needs to happen within a certain mile radius of the school so that the students are represented by teachers who grew up in that area and have an understanding of the demographics in that area, the needs of the children. Say welcome, that. welcome, 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 bye welcome. Bye. episode 3.0. Um, why do women dominate the education sector? as in teaching and support staff. For me, right. for primary school, <laughs> for primary school, I think women dominate because I think the role is mm. seen as a nurturing role. I feel like it's seen as women's work. Historically, mm. teaching was for women. Mm. So prior to, not from the beginning, prior mm. to the 19th century, mm. it was men that were teachers, but mm. then, when the industrialization came mm. and there was new kind of jobs for men, yeah. then it also left war. it left a gap mm. in for as for teachers, and mm. then it was decided that women could fill that gap because mm. before, remember, they weren't um, didn't really have access to education, mm. and they weren't that wasn't their role. They were supposed to be wives and mm. mothers, and then when they were allowed to go into education, they were pushed into certain mm. fields, and that was kind of teaching and nursing. So then, being a teacher was seen as woman's work. It was seen as a feminist role, a nurturing role. I was about to role. say, how did, how did feminism play a part in this? Well, because they wanted the women, they, can, they accepted that as a role because mm. their, their careers were limited. Mm. Historically, it was mm. limited. They weren't supposed to have careers. They were supposed to get married and be wives. Mm. So then when this opportunity came up that now you can have a career mm. and being a teacher would be a, respe it would be a respectable career, so it's an alternative to being married, like you were respected as, as a teacher. So I think for feminists it was like this, this is something we can use, something we can hold on to, to get a decent profession mm. and um, salary, money. Okay, so nurturing, because mm. I did, I had a conversation once and a guy was like, um, basically he was saying that t teachers nowadays are soft and he said, because when he was taught, most of the teachers came, or the male teachers, were from a military background. So it just ties into what you said, because obviously the industrialization, war and stuff, men weren't around as much, but then when they did return, that's when they became teachers and were kind of... But they used, but you... you but what I mean, looking at age group, isn't it? Mm. So you talk about secondary, um, rather than primary. Yeah, probably. Primary. Yeah, yeah. Because pri yeah, I don't think that sort of. Um... I don't think that nurturing role is is. That's what I'm saying. It's not as relevant when it comes mm. to secondary. No. So for primary school. Yeah, and this is what we were focused. That's what I'm saying. The focus because originally you were saying it's about primary school because you said let's go through from there. Mm. Yeah. So, so that's why I can understand where, you, where, where your points were coming. If you stay from. in primary school, mm. being a teacher was like an extension of being a mother. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're literally for for myself when I was getting into education, mm. I avoided primary school because I said I don't I'm not a I don't want to be a mother mm. to thirty little kids mm. running around. For or me, I felt or a nanny and having nanny. to constantly just run around after them, making sure that they're doing what they're meant to be doing. Yeah, I didn't really see it as teaching. Yeah. Do you see mm. what I mean? I saw mm. it as looking after, mm. like, do you know what I mean? Raising, mm. caring. So that's how I saw it. Mm. And I'm saying if that is how it's seen in, in that role, mm. then women are suited to that. Also, men that go into primary school teaching, they can get stereotyped, like, and negatively. What? Soft. Soft, gay, um, or... Masculinity. Or, um, like, um, paedophiles, like, mm. do, you know, do you see what I mean? Mm. Like, that, and I know from my own experience, when I found out, like, my daughter had a male teacher, I, I just took a, just a moment, like, oh, a man. Yeah, because like, the idea mm. of they have to do certain subjects, let's say, for instance, PE, and they get changed in the classroom, the teacher's there, so that whole concept of you have a male teacher, you're now changing into your PE kit, it doesn't sit right. Whereas, let's say a father hears that his son 
has a female teacher, he's not going to bat an eyelid. Yeah. Just gonna be like, okay. oh, especially for like in primary school, kids, they get upset, they're emotional. I know for a fact my daughter is emotional. So I can imagine her in class crying about something. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't think anything of it that the teacher is consoling her, mm -hmm. the teacher a woman, mm -hmm. like not the teacher a man. Um, so I think mm. I think that's how society was, was so kind of what, looking at it. Okay, in secondary, what about send students? What about them specifically? Don't they need the nurturing? Yeah, they do. Females. Yeah, they do. But and that's what I'm saying. The, the women that do those, and males? the people yeah. that do those roles, though. That's what mm. I'm saying. In, in work in send, are they predominantly women? That would be interesting to find out. It would be good to see who are SENCOs and so yeah. forth. Yeah. yeah. Well, that I mean, from my experience, when I worked in the SENCO department, majority of us were mm. women, and mm. then there was the odd yeah. male. Yeah. And then it's, he would kind of be used for certain mm. things. Mm. Exactly. So that child that came that then had some behaviour issues, mm. he was paired. Oh, he no, would kind no, of no, be No, 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 let's stay away from behaviour right now. We'll go into that a little bit later. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, I'm just, yeah. saying, I'm just yeah. saying that, you know, the gender bias, it is still there. Mm. Like, it is. Mm. It, so even when you work in the sector, you're then still maybe given mm. certain roles, certain classes, do you know what I mean? Certain students. Mm you know, based on, on, the, on the gender and character, the traits that you obviously you can offer. Okay, so why are there more men in secondary as opposed to primary then? Because you said that men, women have the nurturing side, the nurturing traits, so what is it that men have that they're better suited? For secondary? Yeah. Um, I guess that idea of, I don't want to say dominance, but presence. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if like, Thinking back when I was in school, um, if I had a male teacher, I know there's certain things I wouldn't get away with and there's certain things I wouldn't even try. Whereas a female teacher, I'll talk back because I know it's like, yeah, she's going to go on, but eventually she'll be quiet. But it's like that presence that they hold, mm -hmm. it's very different to a female teacher, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that being said, in terms of primary, it just wouldn't... I just couldn't imagine. That's why it's rare that there are male teachers in primary schools because it's also the it's also the subjects I would say that men can teach in secondary school. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the subjects males probably teach are like science, maths, uh, maths. Do you see what I mean? So typically, men do do well in those and subjects. P, do you know? P as well. Yeah, like yeah. I've got two things. So I think it's based on two assumptions <coughs> that the kids at secondary school are more difficult to deal with. That's the first assumption. And the second assumption is men can handle their behaviour better. And I think that's something that is an assumption and I don't think it's proven, but I think that's two reasons why it's more women at primary school than men at secondary school. So I think that's the two assumptions as to why we're seeing more women at primary school and more men in secondary school. But you're saying more men, mm. about the same token, is the Still secondary school Still, is yeah. predominantly yeah. women. So that's right. Um, yeah. yeah, but look, what you say, that goes... That, but what that men are attracted to, I think, mm. I just think that generally what men are attracted to when it comes to that profession as well, there's a sense of working with older students. Mm. Yeah, because you, you don't have, have to be that, as yeah. nurturing in a secondary yeah. school. Yeah. Exactly. You know, because you don't. So if you you're expect... not as nurturing, then what is it that you, that you are? So, But then that's what is, what is nurturing? Okay, and no, the other side, what does nurturing wanna, mean, isn't it? I would no. say as a man, a male teacher, you want to maybe be a role model for mm. children. Yep. You want to <clears> help them change their life, do you know what I mean? Plan their future, change their lives, do you know what I mean? Mm. So you, you still want, you want to make a difference, mm. but it's not in that, do you know what I mean? It's, I just feel it's in a more, more of a logical sense, more mm. of a, you know. Not because you're crying, I'm going to say, oh, it's all right, it's all right. And then that way they see you as, oh, I'm now, I've now made an impact. Whereas if a child was crying, I'd want to go to them to console them. Mm. I don't want to be stereotypical, but I feel like men is like, okay, have you finished? Right, let's let's. Mm. What's the next mm. step here? Like, stop. <laughs> I know, I know. No, no, no. But even so, I, I think we need to because we talk about this word nurturing, mm. right? And so already, that's what, and that's what I wanted to see. What is okay, what does nurturing okay. actually mean? So the act of providing food, protection, support, or encouragement. So even in second, I so nurture young. Side, I think it's the support. I think it's the support. 
I don't. So that's so that's why I was a little bit like, what do you mean by know, being what, more think, nurturing? Because yeah, I still this. feel that. Okay, but, why, but we do it in different. I do it in different ways. Yeah, but that's what but still nurturing. Yeah, no, 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 we still nurture, but it's still nurture. Why do they say that women are more nurturing? In general, that's what society says. I don't think women are nurturing. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's maternal. I think that's the word. There you go. I think I agree. No, but this is why the women who aren't that maternal are more suited to secondary. Yeah. I would agree. Like, like, like me, because I'm not maternal. Yeah, she said but it. I am. I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm in secondary, but mm. I am. I would say you could be much, a primary school teacher. Yeah, I've done it. Like, I've done the whole TA, the you're LSA. More maternal. But then I was just like, I want more. I want to be able to have conversations mm. with these kids. And mm. they go home and say, Mom, Dad, I've learned this. And Miss did taught me this and mm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whereas, me telling you, have you flushed a toilet? <laughs> like, where are we going with this? Like, but it just... goes so far, though. Because <laughs> exactly. I've got, and the reason why I was saying that is because my friend, he is a deputy head over primary. So, one thing I will say in that is a case of he, from what my conversations with him, it is a case that he preferred the older students within primary, primary school. Yeah. But nonetheless, he did the whole, mm-hmm. the whole shebang. And I, and I actually do, when he goes into depth about what, they actually have to do in the pedagogy and how things need to it is just a totally different I know we're saying like, you know, so I mean it is a it totally Obviously, different in the lower end of primary have to school do, it's a lot it? about child development mm. yes. it's not just about looking after them so obviously some people still, are interested in mm. child development because you know, and also I know, progression. Yeah, I know. Like, you, my, it's still the teaching comes through. Of course, I'm <laughs> like saying, they I know have from to my, make progression I know from my experience and, with my daughter and, and the parent, uh, the parents' evening, they are talking about what is is that she can do, like what skills mm. can she do, what emotions can you, and yes, they ha- and I'm grateful for them for helping her mm. learn how to manage mm. those things. Like it might not be academic, but they are definitely still teaching children. At, at that age, especially to get them to a point where they can then be in a classroom yeah. and then be able to learn. Because if you can't manage, mm. like, the, 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 you know, social things and, you know what I mean, friendships mm. and, and things like that, sharing, all that kind of stuff. Mm. So that is that is learning. Mm. Yeah, that is. That I is mean, definitely learning. And But maybe, that's what I'm saying, maybe women are more suited to that yeah, than no, men. But then that's and do you know why I say yeah. yes to that? Because my... So I had a job where there was this... I would say, I wouldn't say misbehave. I would just say it took her longer to develop compared to the rest of the kids. Mm. And she was at um, reception age. And basically they brought me in and straight away I knew like the barrier, she couldn't speak properly. Mm. So for me, it was more of understanding what she needed when she needed it. But she was so used to having different people around her every day and telling her off. That it's like, she didn't even see me. And then I came back the next day and it's like, you're still here, okay? I'm still gonna mess around and do what I want. And then the third day I was like, no, we're gonna now try and steer you away from thinking that you're not at school and you can do what you want. And I feel like throughout me putting in like little steps for her to follow, it was more of the nurturing, because she'll cry when she didn't get what she wanted. Mm. And that was me putting my foot down and saying, right, you're at school to learn. You're not here to do things, hit other children, mm. get away with it. And but do you think a man right. couldn't, do, couldn't have done that No. Role? The fact that she was so emotional, but everyone saw her as this bad child that didn't listen. Mm. But for me, it was like, no, this child is just misunderstood. Because what the thing I would say is, I would say, uh, kind yeah. of in, a, in kind of not in slight disagreement to that, is that the male teachers I have worked with in different departments. So in when I worked in the SEN department, they were very good at their job. Mm-hmm. So uh, for me, it's not that men can't do the role. No. The men that choose to do the role, I think they do it very well. Mm-hmm. I just don't think all men are ch- like choose that profession mm-hmm. and for whatever reason they yeah. don't choose it but the men that do i think they are very suited to it do you see what i mean i think they are a man who w- wants to make a difference mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. is a bit more on the nurturing side or whatever it is do you know what i mean they want to give back like i, I do think male teachers do it very well and I- that's why i would love for there to be yeah. more of them yeah I-, I i agree but i would also add that it falls in line with society so a baseline assumption i would make is that women are more emotionally alert um and i guess the way i could support that is the overwhelming male suicide rates 
So if you look at men who can't necessarily deal with their emotions, so in general, due to the male suicide rates, overwhelmingly over compared to women, we've got a problem in society already is that men cannot deal with their emotions. Mm -hmm. So that in itself is a large chunk of us. So in terms of just that population and those who are, I guess, can potentially be teachers, are they really ready to be mm. emotionally yeah, that's ready? Yeah, that's okay. where, that's where know, I was going you know I mean? with that. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Let yeah. me, just on that, let's steer it in, in, into that direction. So, in 2019, 75.8% of school teachers were women. Mm -hmm. In every ethnic group, there were more female than male teachers. Based on what you just said, which is basically to do with mental health, um, and fit for, whether you're fit for work or not, what impact do black male and female teachers have on students? <laughs> wow. Um, uh, I would say well, yeah. I'd like to toot our own horns here. <laughs> and I would like to yeah. say that we have a positive impact. I personally went to a school where I didn't see quite a lot of black teachers. Mm. And when I did, I was so like, that could be me. Mm. Like, I was actually like, that could actually be me. Representation is important. Exactly. Mm. And that idea of doing, yeah. being in subjects where most, or some black households may be like, mm, you shouldn't really get into that. Maybe you should get into this. Mm. Let's say, for instance, like drama. Um, in that sector, I would, when I walk into a classroom, it's just like, oh, nice, black drama teacher. But then... Some households may be like, no, stay away from pick and drama at GCSE, go for the English, go for the triple science, like, do what you need to do. And it's so nice to see when children can actually relate and be like, oh, so what did you do, miss? Um, when you were at secondary, what did you do? And get into mm. that. They so can't relate to, uh, be honest, a middle-aged white man teaching them their subject. Right. A so young black boy can't think, I'm right. going to so be a man. science. I don't know, you know. Right. So well, he can't think of no, 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 think no, no, no. Like no, you. no, 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 no. The reason, the reason why I say that is because the other side, because I think you're just, there's the other element that you're just taking out of, which is kind of like, how does an officer, I'm, look, I agree with what has been said is that representation is extremely important, 100%. But then there are other things that come with the teaching world. Like if you're excellent at your subject and you're able to teach, like that has a massive part to play as well. Definitely. So I've, you know what I mean? Come on, we've been into classrooms where you will see white middle class lady but she's got everyone on it mm -hmm. are you going to say what, that are you like gonna, said, but hold on wait, 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 wait. but then does that make does that mean that that, that child or whoever, whatever ethnicity well, they are is not going yeah exactly no or, I would say though, not going that, to think, I would say that that teacher is, yeah. is do or is doing something and has made an mm -hmm. effort to make sure uh, that she can reach her whole class okay. do you see what I mean let, let so she's making with, sure that she can she can understand the diversity in her in class, class yeah. in mm. order to Why? reach. She's not just coming in mm. with her maybe you know, do you know what I mean with the white background and the mm. white content and the white. She's I feel that she would have done some some reach and been like, how do I connect with all the people in, in this my classroom? Theory, my theory, my theory, my theory, I don't, my theory yeah. on this is that um, right. So the school to prison pipeline, okay, happens because the teachers and those in the criminal justice system attended the same schools or ra were raised in the same area and uh, became a product of their environments, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you've got teachers sanctioning, teachers who went to these same schools sanctioning the children and then these children go down the criminal justice system route, you've got the judges now and the prosecutors who went to the same school as those teachers or from the same backgrounds sanctioning them in the exact same way, just in a completely different system, okay? I'm not saying I'm against you can be taught by a white teacher, like you mm. said, they can have the whole class on smash here. Um, but I think recruitment and retention needs to happen within a certain mile radius of the school. So that mm. the students are represented mm. by teachers who grew up in that area and have an understanding of the demographics in that area, the needs of the children, yeah, etc. Like I said, most of these people live where you can't have someone that comes from way <laughs> where, later, comes that into is our London, journey, and then all of a sudden, and then like, sees a behaviour. Wait, yeah. wait for it. Sees a yeah. behaviour, yeah. That's like, oh my gosh, I've only ever seen this on TV, portrayed in the media. <laughs> and these are the same journalists 
the yeah. also went to their school or grew up so in their fair, areas and yeah. had these opportunities. Yeah? yeah. So now you've got them portraying this to these teachers that they went to school with. Mm. They're sanctioning them. They leave school. Or some don't even leave school, as we've seen with Child Q. We're not bringing the police into the school. Mm. My buddy from way over there that comes into the Metropolitan Police mm-hmm. Force, yeah? And you're not from the area. Let's be honest. Okay, 90% plus are not from these areas mm. to now strip search a child in the school. Mm-hmm. So they're not even waiting until the children finish now to they're go down the criminal there. justice yeah. system. Yeah. They're bringing the criminal well, justice they have school system police into the school. They're school police officers. Someone who would be a good teacher would yeah. be yeah. someone who has worked in different schools, Multiple schools. in different yeah. demographics. Do you mm. see what I mean? Because I told this where I, this where I agree on that part because this is where I this is where I started going. A lot of those teachers who are probably making those mistakes are those ones who are newly qualified teachers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've only worked in one time as you know well. And they're I've got coming from different I, places. Yes, I've got a theory from, on that as well. Yeah. Let's be honest, I've said this before, okay? We go down the pastoral route or we're pushed yeah. to go down the pastoral route. When you say we, you mean black, <laughs> black people. Black people. Black black people. people. I'm, just, I'm just clarifying. <laughs> black people, I ain't scared of anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I say this shit straight. <laughs> you guys know me. <laughs> Black yeah. people are pushed to go down the pastoral route. And when I say we're pushed, like I've seen it with my own two eyes, as, as in like a head teacher's never had a conversation with someone and then their first conversation is, oh, I think you'd be suited to... Suited, yeah, your skills I, are so good. Hold on, why am I, You know nothing about me. Why would I be suited to pastoral? Mm. But don't you think that's part, still part of a wider societal problem with that black people, we are always there to protect. So if you look at the type of jobs that we do, if you look at the, the stereotypical um, Nigerian traffic wardens, a very, very difficult mm. job. If you look at all of the security guards, mm. it's, it's, it's a lot yeah. of, uh, um, of African descent. Mm. I still think that subconsciously there is that colonial feel and psychology that yeah. we still have to protect mm. and, and we have to always, so, sorry to say, get the Europeans out of trouble. When, and, and that's something that we have to really, really psychologically... Now, what, Psy- I, 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 see, I, see the po- I see the point that's been made, yeah? Mm. But I think that, from my perspective, I'm not saying it's the right thing at all, mm. but I do think th- what the reason why those comments are made as well is because of the fact that they're seeing the interaction that you're able to have with the students that they can't get. Why do you think that black people do have those interactions with kids like why why is it that we are like because i'm saying not only are we pushing that we are very good at it we are very good like i know lots of t- people who are good in pastoral roles i know um head of years uh, who are black who can manage whole year groups but yet teachers can't manage their class mm-hmm. and they're they're the ones being called to come and manage right. all of their class why is it okay, we're so good i've at got it? a theory i've got a theory on this yeah and mm-hmm. again on a psychological level i feel like we're being played off against each other, okay? No different to slavery, yeah? And that is because who's the policy written by? Who are these policies written by? Who are these codes of conduct written by? But then who enforces them on our own children? So then we're being seen as the bad guy by the black children to a degree. Sometimes okay? we're not seen as the bad guy. Sometimes we're seen as... A figure. That, they, that the students can actually listen to, to and respect. And so, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? So then... But they actually you, do follow our but, rules but, because they respect us and they like us. But like you said, it's not my rules. Yeah, but you're and, following my rules. Exactly. Following and then, yeah. That's what I'm saying. What does that do to them yeah, psychologically? Exactly. On, yeah, on a surface level, yes, I respect that's you. You yeah, hold yeah. this role. You can be a role model and whatnot. But on a psychological level, mm. what is that actually doing to them? Mm. And another thing is, again, we're pushed down the pastoral. Then you've got other people that are pushed down the teaching and learning. Teaching and learning is all about teaching, implementing strategies, etc., etc. We need to teach those in teaching and learning how to teach with behaviour management Mm -hmm. so that it prevents them from sending the kids to us so that we have to sanction them based on the policies and the codes of conduct that's been written by them. But then the thing is, why are we there then? That means we I, will be cut. I would love their, to. I would love to reform. Job will be I, cut, our job will be cut in half. If I would love we to. didn't have to do. If we weren't there to do that. But at the end of the day, the beneficiaries are the children. Mm. So if our jobs are cut in half because they're now behaving, because we've taught the teachers how to teach with behaviour management, 
They're the, benefit, they're the beneficiaries. Mm-hmm. Do you know what though? So and if you have to slash the pastoral jobs, so an important thing for me though is, like you said, yeah, we do know how to to deliver behavior management, mm-hmm. yeah. But I feel that it's a, it would be a struggle to teach it mm. to other certain teachers because because I feel that it's not just our behavior strategies that we have. No. It's, 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 in, it's, it's in our mentality yeah. Yeah. that we yeah. have. And no, but and it's, it's, yeah. it's the understanding though that mm. we have on the children. So mm. basically, because what I'm saying is before you teach some literal, some, some literal behavior strategies, mm. you're going to need to teach some of these white Cultural. teachers how to look at the children, yeah. do you see what I mean? How yeah. to but see the yeah. children, not, not see... just oh, make them do this and make... but no. you know what doesn't happen because that's how we do. When, yeah, when a child what... comes to us and they're and we already have the mind of we're not judging this, this what... child, yeah, but this we don't think saying. bad of this. Do you see what I mean? Propaganda, propaganda is what creates the image of these students. So when they go home and they're seeing the black people on TV and how they're represented or misrepresented, they then come to the school and project that image onto the children. Yeah. So and onto their colleagues, mm. yeah, and yeah, onto the colleagues, yeah, on, definitely yeah, onto colleagues yeah, as yeah. well. But, to but this is where your where your point comes in about like so it's not necessarily about race, like you said, it's about the community mm. and understanding the culture mm. because like you said, if you grew up in that community or mm. you grew up in that culture, oh, you on. understand it. it doesn't matter what colour you are, of the jobs you will done. understand that the kids you in the school mm-hmm. are the kids. Like do you know what I mean, you'd be thinking, I went to a school just like this. I know, do you know what I mean, yeah, it's not a, it's not a race thing. Mm. Um, but yeah, how do you teach somebody coming from a completely mm. different area mm. that the kids in this mm. area, do you know what I mean, are like this for this reason? And do you know what I mean? So is that what is that is that why we think then that's what men is that what we'd say that's what male teachers are there to do to manage? No, I think we I think we still got the teaching. I feel we still got the same same roles. But I think another question I have is where are the men? So mm-hmm. a lot of the men are in. Uh, dangerous jobs. So I've written down firefighters, mining, army, large um, proportion of them are in, are in prison. So again, that's a large p- part of the population that are elsewhere and other, you know, um, dangerous jobs. So that's one area that I don't think we should be missing out. It's th- the reason being is men are doing some of these more dangerous jobs. And I remember, um, Jordan Peterson um, mentioned this. I think he was talking to that woman on Channel 4 about it. I can't mm. remember her name. It was, it was his famous interview. Kathy. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. Freeman? Or Kathy Newman, one that's of them. Yeah, 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 Kathy Newman. Newman. And that's what he mentioned. He said a, a lot of the men, um, they're in a lot of the more um, dangerous or perceived to be more of dangerous jobs. So that takes a large proportion Sorry. of men mm-hmm. away mm-hmm. and potentially in... Um, the education sector so that's another and also, um, and also that comes thought. down to um, salary as well because I read somewhere that mm. um, obviously teaching is a lower paid job mm. than other professions mm. yeah. and and it's it, it said that um, one of the reasons why it could be lower paid is because it was seen as a job for women and mm. obviously women okay. can, are paid lower than okay. men so it's not as appealing mm. to a man because mm. I think about it like a man like you got, you're planning yeah, for your right. future yeah, you've got a family yeah. Yeah. so they go into higher paid positions historically secondary schools were heavily dominated by men at a period of time I think it was the crossover yeah but, you, and why but then was that, that was before as I said uh, then it was a change well but what, when, when they were dominated by men what was the reason I can't even ask the reason was mm. that men were highly educated women so were not seen, highly educated so therefore very... a man can't, you can't teach children if you're not highly educated mm. so men were little young boys were given education Therefore, no, I'm talking today. about secondary school. I'm not talking about primary school. I'm talking about secondary school. Yeah, but, 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 but you have to be, you know what I'm saying? You have to be. Women, mm. women mm. Were, didn't have all this mm. access to education. They yeah, weren't allowed to study maths mm. and yeah, science yeah. and all that. Courses. So how can they become yeah. 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 teachers in yeah. secondary school mm. if that's you don't really have that degree? Mm. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? That's, yeah. that's why it was men. Like you said, because it was a certain type of male mm. teacher. A so male you, teacher back in historically was not a, he was not a, a feminine nurturing no. man. Like you said, he was a... Uh, you know what I mean? A, a, a discipline, a, a, a very intelligent, like, you know what I mean? Like a professor. The stereotype's still there. Still stereotype, the gender bias yeah. is still there. Mm, you know, I'm trying to think, you know, we have to ask yeah. ourselves, why did we get into teaching? Like, exactly. we are women, and yeah. why did we get why? into it? And it was just, that's what I'm saying, it, it, it was something that, like, women do, like, be a teacher, and, and it is a, a professional career for us mm-hmm. to do. No. Has anyone ever been shocked at 
the role that you do? Uh, when you say you work in education? Do you mean... Sure. Well, like, oh, I never thought like, you be a someone, teacher. Huh? Like imposter syndrome. What, what do you mean within? No, no. <laughs> no what mean? Like, we are surprised that we are... <laughs> on somebody else. Wrong, guys. Like, 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 do you know what? Somebody else, but please. Oh, somebody else. Let's oh. go on the imposter one, because I like that one. Imposter syndrome. Yeah, imposter syndrome. I suffer from it. Yeah, I suffer from it. So you've got hundred percent. Explain. A hundred percent. I suffer from imposter syndrome. Explain. So explain. What does that mean? Meaning that syndrome? there are certain roles that. So even looking within mm. um, my position, I still question if I am competent enough to do that job. Oh, yeah. I still do. What, as a what teacher, makes you question it? As a teacher, no, hundred percent, not anymore. But in terms of going further up, mm. I do not feel very comfortable and. I will just say plain and sailing because of white counterparts. That's just what it is. Mm. I still suffer from the psychological, colonial, inferiority complex. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Mm. It's something that I'm still progressively mm. trying to get over, mm. but I do suffer from it. Mm. And because there's not enough representation mm. further upfield, oh. I won't go up. And oh. I don't feel <laughs> I'm... I've got the stats on that here. Plus I'm also, qualified enough or good nah, enough. See, so, I, and that's just me being honest. I can share with you to a point. I, I do, I feel that I suffer that right at the beginning of a new position. Mm. But then after I've done like six mm. months, then I know what the situation, then I'm, mm. you know, I'm you're more, just like, I know what I'm like. But then you get no, no, but no, no, but no, but no, but it's not even a case of <laughs> saying, no, that, no, it's not even ever so often. For me, it's a case of experience, Damon, you're that just, experience wins. Yeah. Mm. After that, that's mm. all I need to know. Mm. I've done, if, and generally speaking, with any new role that you get into, first year that you know, first year, I automatically know I'm in a new role, mm. I'm going to be learning yeah. this first yeah, year. After that, yeah, I'm just kind of like, like mm. I'm just but like, cool. I'm, but then I'm I do hungry. what I do, what I do kind of agree, not even a, what I take into consideration is a sense of that there is that element of, do you know what, there are white people that's, mm. but do you know what, I'm something, so. I remember a time when um, the head teacher or some member of SLT were talking about something that, uh, and it came up that somebody, one of the team, pastoral team said, oh yeah, you know, I've, um, you know, that's my area of expertise, like I've got a degree in that area. And they were shocked. Mm -hmm. They were shocked that mm -hmm. members, us as uh, pastoral team had degrees. And I was like, yeah, of course I have a degree. Mm -hmm. And it was like, they thought that mm. to be in that position, you, that you didn't need yeah, to be yeah. high, do you know what I mean, mm. high educated. And because like I said, because you're here mm. to do a certain thing. Mm. So why would you need that thing? Mm. So I, I remember for me, I always felt overqualified for my role. I always thought you lot are looking at me and mm. you might not know what I'm capable of. Mm. Mm. I thought you were going to tell the story about when I walked into the office. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I want to hear this story. <laughs> What, yeah. I didn't like you? Yeah, I yeah. the first time, she's like, who's this guy in the suit? And in my office as well, it was office. my office. No, it was, wait. I mean, it was a communal office. Really? <laughs> it was, was it your office as well, Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, it was. So it was a communal office, but it was my office. Yeah, yeah, you. No, do you know what it was? You had a permanent seat. Yeah, no. And when you walked in, I was like, no, it wasn't because of that. No, no, no. Did he sit in your seat? Did you, you sit in my seat? No, just he right. sat in seat. Now we're getting there. He sat in your seat. A certain, a certain somebody went to her and said, Oh, that guy, that new guy over there said he's going to come take your desk or something like that, or he's coming in here. And then when she saw me walking in there, I think that's what it was. It's like, yeah, Oh, man. him. Like, who's this guy in the seat? And he used to wear funny scarves. He used to wear funny scarves. He was scarf, man. He was yeah, scarf. Yeah, he used to wear funny, funny scarves scarf. all the time. He was like, you know. To be fair, you was breaking the, I would say like the the stereotype. Like you, mm. you dressed. I think you. you know what I mean, I think it was a good role model. You were showing the children like mm. that you can dress in your own style in a completely different way. Because come on, let's be fair. There are like teacher looks. Yeah. Do, yeah. You know I mean? do you know what I mean? There's. Do you know what I mean? There's literally like. <laughs> oh, yeah, do you know what I mean? There's teacher looks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what it is. What do you mean start pack? You know what? The start pack. I don't know what it is. Start pack. But what I'm saying is that was very important. Don't get me wrong. At the time, I was like, this is over the top, and I don't know where this guy is going or who mm. he thinks he is. Mm. Um, but obviously, after a while, I got to, I'm saying that was important because, like you said, a lot of kids did used to comment. Mm. 
to you about your style mm. and your swag. And mm. that was just another way mm. of reaching them. That was just another, yeah. do you know what I mean? And, mm. and, and another way of, of being a, a role model mm. to them, like showing them, yes, you it's can like wear nice clothes, yeah. mm. nice shoes, mm. nice scarves. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Representation matters, Actually, man. It, does, it, it, it matters. Does. It matters so it much does. because even with me, what what I love to teach my students is, um, you know, in one sense, I will, you will hear me speak just like them in street vernacular. Then on the flip side, I'm speaking an extremely formal language. Mm. Then another flip side, I'm just giving them books mm. that they should be reading, mm. quoting, yeah, and exactly. they are just like this guy. You tick the boxes, but what if those opportunities are always shut down? Mm. for you mm. what does that mean mm. all, all well and good saying you can tick boxes you can speak a certain way not talk to certain people but mm. if those opportunities are not there mm. for you mm -hmm. there's no amount of climbing the ladder that you can do mm. what do you mean by the opportunities not there for you as, well? as in what like okay, to, to get into it yeah. so it's like mm. okay look, there's a position for let's say head of year or deputy yeah. head of year or um let's say head of head of a department, department. Mm. now I've put myself forward for it. I've been shut down. Mm. I've been shut down mm. again. How many times am I going to take my shut down before it's like, right? This is I, to I, to I totally agree with you on that, mm. right? How many times? And you know what I've said for, for things like that? I'm moving. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm going, like, if I'm not going to get it here, mm. I'm going elsewhere to find it. Mm. I know, open to it. I know for a fact that this school is not showing me those things. Mm. Mm this is not the school for me, to get what I need. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I need to be open to moving. Then the other side, the other thing I think is important to, 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 to highlight as well, with those, with the stats and figures, I would like to know, mm. in particular, mm. because the thing with the stats mm. is looking at it, said it's a national thing. Mm. So to be fair with you, I don't really care about the sticks of mm. whatever, <laughs> and they don't have that. Let's go. Like, I want to know, 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 yeah, yeah, in, I wanna know about the London like, schools, Birmingham yeah. schools, yeah. little bit of, I want to know yeah, where, yeah. those yeah. areas, mm -hmm. how many how many people, that, like, who is their leadership team? That's what I want to know. Mm. But because I said, those numbers are like, it, but what is what really is it for the places that we really we, need to yeah. focus? Mm -hmm. Do you need a school of black excellence? So I'm just going to put that to you guys. Do you need a school where it's predominantly black senior leadership, predominantly black middle leaders, staff? Okay. As a whole. Straight away, <clears throat> I'm coming with the no. Mm. Because in my eyes, when we mm. as black people do this thing where we're trying to make a point and mm. we open a black school of excellence, mm. it's like it doesn't get the attention mm. the way that, let's say, a white school of excellence would. Mm. So it's now understanding that concept of, yeah, we live in a country where there's different races, all that good stuff, but now it's bringing that to our advantage. Yeah, it may mean using our white counterparts in a way that make us seen in a light where it's more positive mm. and it's not just a thing of oh yeah it's just another black school we're not going to give them the mm. accolades that they should be getting but why do we need the i accolades? would say we, i would i would disagree i would say that black schools could could be very beneficial mm. i would say in i would say until we get to a place where we know our black children can be on the same level as white children have the same advice. I would say there's no harm in creating a space mm. where we are specifically aiming at them mm. to, you know, especially like you said, like with all the young, the, the you know, the, the young boys in prison and it being disproportionate, but mm. we can't wait for it to get to an equal <laughs> level le le playing field. We need to do something now to save the, the yeah. children now. Do you see what I mean? So, so. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And and, and 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 you know what as well? One what? one form of education. Just, 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 it's a like that. Listen, there's an no. epidemic yeah. which is on a small level. Yeah. And then there's a pandemic. So what is it that we're waiting for mm -hmm. in to terms of that. like That's what, I'm saying. How, what many more children, how many more children? Yeah, how many more black children have to die, or go, go to, to prison? Jail, yeah. to, so I'm saying if and, and and one type of education does not fit all no, no. as well. So if you mm -hmm. could have a black school mm -hmm. that would nurture some type of certain children in a certain way and really make them you know successful in them then why not because there are uh, there are muslim schools and there are jewish schools there are different but, but do schools we, for no, different but this, people okay no i'm not disregarding that mm. what i was saying is in they don't get 
that limelight that a black, um, a white excellent school would get. So let's say mm. there's a Muslim school that have excellent grades. You ain't gonna hear that on the news. Mm. The way that this white school with mm. the same grades. But that's not the purpose. I'm gonna say yeah. No, 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 not the purpose. But yeah. how I'm looking at yeah, it yeah, is that's it. how you get your status as a mm. school. If you're, if all your kids are failing. They're not going to want to speak about it. Mm. You're not going to show but what, that this but is But hopefully they wouldn't be failing. Hopefully what they, what they would be achieving mm. is helping those <clears throat> young people. Mm. Like, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. If you have helped those young people mm. to go on to do something successful with their life, especially mm. if you've taken them out of an environment, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm. And potentially, like, imagine you've got a certain, a certain group of young men, you potentially stop them from going in, I mean, down, mm. the, down the road route or the prison... Then that is success. I don't, it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. That's it, and that's what I wanted to say. Um, don't you think subconsciously? Like um, my question to you, um, don't you think subconsciously you, we're still seeking white validation because mm. we don't need that the big accolades. Mm. We don't need it. Um, you know, inflated on media. It doesn't need to be there as long as they're successful. As long as they are progressing to their and they're working to their optimal standard, why what why does it matter if it's on BBC? It it, it shouldn't matter. Mm. A black excellence is not for it's not to show our white counterparts. It's for the kids. It's centered around the kids. This is why we have issues with Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, because it's all about it, everything should be centered around. The, the the betterment of our kids. It's not about mm. any anyone else, and that's that that's the the issue. We're not seeking validation. We don't want to say, oh, hello, white people. You see our black kids. They they, they can do very well. It's not about it. It's no. black kids. Mm -hmm. We you can be successful mm -hmm. in an alternative provision. That's it. It's got nothing to do with um, another race. Bro, why are you banging the table? You're being aggressive. <laughs> no, you're getting you're being aggressive. Also, oh, yeah, yeah you're being thing. aggressive. You're being passionate. You're another being thing. aggressive. Sorry. <laughs> another thing, another thing, there is um, an author called Dr. Joanza Kunjufu, and he does a lot of work uh, in and around black children and mm -hmm. he's a teacher I'm not sure he's still alive but he was an african-american i've got i've got quite a few of his books mm -hmm. because i'm so interested in excellence there's another one there's another guy that's fruit amos dr amos something um uh, apologies um, let me get it say again dr amos I know, I, I think I know you're talking awesome, about. You know. Okay, so, wait, right, that's oh, yeah, a good go on, story. Yeah, Just no, 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 your team. I felt like that team. was aimed at what I said in terms of, like, accolades and all of that. But the point I was trying to make, no, that BBC News, oh, wow, they're achieving A-star grades. But in the sense of the work that we're putting in behind the scenes, what you said about it feels like we're helping the individual whilst everyone else is climbing to mm. the top. It's like, why is it that we're helping the individuals and... Everyone else would see it as, okay, yeah, it's just, just another black child. You made it out of school with some GCSEs. Yeah, so what? Why shouldn't that be celebrated? Mm -hmm. That was the point that I was trying to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By who? Yeah. What, by us or, or Everyone. by the white community? Not, uh, forget the whites. Forget the white people in this. I just mean as a whole. Mm -hmm. It should be seen by everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, we can do this. And I feel like it should reach everyone because there's certain mm. black people that are just like, well, to be honest, would I really want to send my child to a black school? I don't really know. Yeah, there will be people will be on yeah. the fence. No, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People will be on the fence. 100%. Would, I, you, would you send your kids to a black school? Yeah. Yeah. Because I'll be running. Oh, <laughs> listen. 100. 100. That's a good one. I've like, already told you. Is there's only one. a few teachers that are definitely going to be teaching my two yeah, children. You're one of them. I appreciate it. So the thing is, yeah. And I think... Go on, I, so, summarise. Not even summarise. <laughs> no, I'm just throwing sure. in... We're I'm going throwing right, right, right in my, my, my thing, yeah. Because I know we spoke and we know, do you know what I mean, extensively, all right? So you know already where my position on, on these mm. things. I'm looking at, looking at the perspective of the position that we're in right now. Mm. And what I'm saying is, that I feel, not I feel, I know that there are a lot, that there is a lot of work that is being done mm -hmm. with organisations mm -hmm. that can provide much 
in this reality that we're in now, mm. what we're doing now, mm. of what is needed. Mm. My thing is a case of trying to get as many children to be part mm. of those organisations mm. because they are doing phenomenal work. Well, these organisations that Yanni saved for the children, mm. there needs to be them for parents as yeah. well. Exactly. So Reaching out to parents, parents, parents to say, is, this is what you we need to do for your but child. Is, but then, yeah, and, and, and this is the I'm got be... When we had our last guest, Adi, he said... He said, yeah. at, you can't a certain, save everyone. Save the majority. At a 